Hello ladies and gents, and we are back for more Baraku Emblem. Here is our units, as you can see, uh... I have some broken stuff to sell. I wonder if broken stuff sells for anything in this game, because if it does... You might have to see about that. Let's see, Harden has that. Is there anything just in supplies that's broken? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Alright, so we're gonna have Harden sell some of our broken stuff this turn. I guess only that's broken, and Wolf is about to have a sword that's broken, and Zagaro is probably gonna break his thing, so yeah. Because in Thracia, I know you can sell broken stuff for at least 10 gold. I can't read Japanese. But this is the Palace of Arcanea, so I assume we are retaking that. I wonder what Marth's doing in the story right now, like, is he just still trying to fight his way through Talus? Anyway, so we got some guys, this pretty much looks the same, but knowing this game, there's probably going to be some extra reinforcements, because why not? Oh, yikes. Anyway, with this chapter, you really want to do your best to avoid the ballista. These Pegasus Riders are going to be coming at us right from the start, like they usually do, I assume. So we may just want to wait them out before we progress forward and whatnot. So let's just see about that. And we did get a Master Seal last chapter, and I think Harden's holding on to that. So we might promote Wolf. The thing is, I don't know if I should promote Wolf, because he's pretty much already capped and everything. So he would only be getting like extra move from his promo bonuses. Meanwhile, Athena could actually benefit from them. So I might be passing those on to it. And I don't know why I brought Richard since I de-equipped his weapon. Seems like a waste, but oh well. And now let's just see what these Pegasus Knights have for us. And there he goes. Alright. There goes the thief. Oh, they're actually aggressive in this. I don't think they're aggressive in the actual book one of this game, so I guess that's the difference. We don't have a mage yet, but we should be getting Lin to this chapter, so maybe that's how we'll take out the Ballista, since they're usually very tough defensively. Oh, they coming. Oh, they coming. Oh, lord. Anyway, we'll have Wolf move forward, as Wolf does. No damage. Awesome, very. Get a kill for Zagaro, because you know it's all about that Zagaro. Boom. Very nice. Y'all know it's all about these two. This is Wolf's game. Byland Emblem, never heard of her. This I'm, I'm playing Wolf Emblem right now. So that's a steel lance, so we can have a couple others move forward without having to get in range of dangerous criminals. Like Violent. Everybody loves it when Violent moves forward, right? And shit. Like, let's see, speed. Speed 7, alright, so if I have maths equipped with this, he won't get doubled, so that's cool. Okay, yeah, so I'll just have everyone else move forward. And Roche the Boche. Alright, and then I guess my infantry units will have to stay behind a bit, so they don't get caught up in this madness. Hmm. Alright, that'll do. And then we'll be able to intercept that thief soon, before he can reach Lind's village. Bad choice on your part, considering you just attacked the one and only Mathis. Behold his power. Alright, so that did not even do half. But you know we gotta get our Mathis kills in, so let's try a javelin with Roche. Alright. So let's see, attack 12, defense 7. Crikey. Crikey. That's unfortunate, but luckily for us, he does have a Steel Lance. So that is epic. 
Nice, alright. Alright, Mathis, show me the goods. To bench HP. Oh, he's already spiraling out of control. Awesome. And just keep moving Wolf forward, because why wouldn't we? He's indestructible. Alright. We might want to not keep these guys off until we're ready to really fight him, though. So I think I'll hold off on that. And let's just move everyone else up. Because we are going to need healing on Mathis soon. However, I do want to maybe conserve heal staves, since we don't know how many of those we'll end up having in the future. So we'll just have to wait and see how this Baraku Emblem hack plays out. And honestly, I think I'll just leave Rickard right here. Like, why bother having to remember to move him? Alright. Mr. Thief? Hello, Mr. Thief. Goodbye, Mr. Thief. Bye. Now we just have this Joker to deal with. Crikey, what a Joker. Okay, yeah, let's not get Mr. Violent involved in that, because I'm pretty sure these guys are deadly. Yeah, super deadly. To a man of Violent's caliber. And by a man of Violent's caliber, I mean very bad. A very bad unit. Alright. Nice. Zagaro is out here. Steel, speed 10. Alright, so Harden shouldn't get doubled. And he should be fine. But we'll have to see. Alright. And then move everyone else up. Can you reach Mathis this turn? Let's see. Yes, you can very easily, Eric. And I'm gonna have Daro stay out of all combat except armor net related ones, because he only has a hammer currently, because I sold all of his other weapons to buy that hammer. Very cruel cycle we're living in. And everyone else should just be fine where they are. Maybe move this soldier forward a bit more. This recruit, this original to Violent Emblem unit, with his incredibly deep backstory. Harden barely survived that one, but he did indeed survive it. Alright, where's the one with the javelin? Crikey, mate, looks like you need a healthy dose of dye. Allow me to provide it. Aw, oh, Mathis, you... Oh, okay, that's it, we're giving him the power ring. He needs the juices. He needs the juices. So, eight. Yeah, that was not... That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. So AS0, AS2. So I'll double one of these guys if I use my Iron Bow. That's a death and a kill for Sedgar. Strength, steel, speed. Yep, he grows. He grows stronger. Let's see, 8. That guy only has 8 HP. Ooh, unfortunate. Probably gets taken out by Steel Ants from Roche. I gotta say, now, hear me out on this one. Hear me out, this might be a crazy concept for some, but maybe having an army of almost 100% Cavaliers at the start of a game is quite a big convenience. Quite a big convenience. I know, right? That's crazy. No one ever would have guessed that. Wolf, strength, luck, weapon level, HP, nice. Alright. Hmm, unfortunately, there's still this guy to deal with. Hmm. I know, what if I... Actually, no, Violent can't use the Horse Slayer, I don't think. But Harden desperately needs to get healed. However, I cannot reach that guy to heal him. Mm. 
this guy's right here, but we don't want to fight that guy. Not necessarily. Let's see. Can Harder just... So attack 16, defense 7. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't have 8 defense, so Harden would actually kill him here. So that takes care of that, yeah. HP 8, I have 16 attack. Alright, let's just go for that then. Easy. Easy peasy. Boom, dead. Got a javelin, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that takes care of that problem. Now the problem is I don't want Wolf getting all of the EXP on these fine gentlemen. But it doesn't look like we're in that big of a rush anymore in terms of the chapter itself. We can pretty much just go at our own pace now, I think. So yeah, this chapter not too altered from what it originally was. So maybe right here I'll just equip my one use iron sword so I can give the EXP to a more deserving candidate. Mm-hmm. And then move everyone else up. Very tricky how they have the Cavs be aggressive while also putting you in range of the mercenary if you want to stop the thief. That's some that's a clever alteration from the original map since yeah, they really aren't aggressive, even in DS Fire Emblem on this. So yeah, I think that is just straight up a change that the dev made that made this map a bit more interesting. So hopefully that's a trend that continues. Let's see. Staff heal. And Mathis. Let's see your defense. Defense 7. Defense 8. Ah, perfect. Perfect. One more defense than Violent. Maybe we should focus on getting Athena up to level 10 since mercenaries seem to be pretty good in this hack. Really not even going to try it. He's not even going to try it. He knows. Alright, well then I guess I'll... Offer up a nice, succulent, tasty Sedgar. Come on, you want Sedgar. You know you want Sedgar. Come get him. Come get him, boy. There, were you happy with your two damage? Alright, let's try to break this iron bow so I can sell it. Alright. So maybe it's time to get this guy some kills. So let's see, attack 12. Defense 6. Shoot, alright. So maybe a shot from Norn. Nope, okay. Fortunately for us, well, let's just get this guy a kill for now. Roche. Let's see how Roche levels up. Skill, luck, HP. Wow. It's starting to look like my Fire Emblem 6 Iron Man calves in here. Staff heal, Harden. I should probably be more careful about how I'm using that, since it does seem to be a limited resource. And there are no forts here, so you can't heal by default. There are two villages, though, so hopefully one of them actually brings in the cash. I doubt it, though. It seems like the guy really doesn't want you to have cash. <laughs> Alright. Because we should be getting the lord of our game some EXP, in my opinion. Since he will probably be quite vital for future success. If past Arcanea Saga games are anything to go off of. Alright. Then maybe I'll give Mathis the power ring that we get from that dragon. And I am not really fearing that dragon at all since I have a wolf. <laughs> Alright. No, don't. No, don't. No, don't. Oh, there's three of them. This just got a bit tricky. Alright. And you killed him. You killed a man's headguard. How could you? Anyway. Fight iron. My sword broke, so there's that. And now, let's see. This guy right here. Let's hit him up with a Nor. See, Roche, you hit him up with that. So let's see, six, let's see, do you have 12 attack, and what's your defense? Six, alright. Finally, the long-awaited violent kill. The long-awaited violent kill. Alright. Ooh, this guy can attack Roche. 
just maybe put a better unit in front of him, like Harden. And then, in a quick second, we'll be able to check out what these places have to offer. And Harden is close to leveling up, so I think I'll just give that to him. Go get him, Tiger. Alright, Harden, what do you got for us? Skill, speed, defense, HP. Hey, not bad, actually. And Vyland, what do these villagers have in store for us? George. Oh, okay. So that means we're getting a fresh bow. Silver. Nice. And I guess that one will have a Lind. I forgot they cut uh, George's original map in this. Hello? Lind, please. There she is. Alright. So a mage to deal with the Ballista would be quite good, since their defense is quite high. Pardon? Linda, thief. Alright, cool. Just for the sake of curiosity. Yeah, heals are 1,000. And we can't even buy any tomes. I think hook... I think hooking myself up with another lance would be a good idea, though. Buy... Okay. So with my, reigning, with my remaining gold, I can buy one iron lance, so I think I just will. Harden's running low on that. And then I think I'll try to hold off on healing for the rest of the chapter. Okay. And I'm gonna be right back when I get to a part of the chapter where something interesting happens. I'm just gonna be moving my units now. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I ended up not moving my units, because here's the thing. There's an arena here. And if I sell items to have Wolf go into the arena, that means I can buy more items. So how much does the silver? Yep, that'll do it. Not like I needed that anyway. And now we can just have Wolf go here and start wrecking face. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be doing a Kawashitai real quick. Showing Wolf's epic training adventure to get us more money. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Wolf died, which means I have to do that part again. So that's unfortunate. Be back soon. Hello everyone, I am back again, and I found out some new information about this chapter. So after I died in the arena last time, I was like, yeah, hey, screw it. Because that guy had freaking Mercurius. So I went off, did some homework, you know, usual. Uh, but then I went on Discord and started talking about Baraku Emblem, and turns out there's some secret, well not secret, stuff in this village I would have passed over had I not been forced to replay it. So apparently I completely missed a Jake, and he's right here. And he's also a Ballista. So say hi to Jake. And you, well, I'll just show it for when I get it. So first have Violent go over here. Get back George, yada yada yada. But, should be in one of these houses. Nope, that's a pirate. Oh, and here's Anna. And there she is. Yeah. So, Anna the mage. Didn't know she would be a mage, but hey, here she is. Anything else here? Macedon boss, okay, that's pretty strange. And it should be this house that gets us something really special. Hmm, was that it? Let's see. Info 380. Apparently there is a house here that will get us some cash. So I'm interested to see about that. No, not you. Why are there just some bosses here? I don't know, it's Baraku Emblem, I shouldn't question it. Dang, girly, your stats sure are inferior. Your stats sure are inferior. 
so where is the house that gives us gold? Yep. So now we have 20 gold, so finally some gold. But here's the thing, right? I can just get the gold over and over again by visiting the house. Like that. So I'm going to do that for a while, and I'll cut back to when I do, I'll get Lind again before I go. So we actually get quite a f fair bit of resources, and I don't need to go through the freaking Mercurius Mercenary goddamn arena again. So I think I'll be back in a jiff and start recording again when I have the gold. See you soon. Hello ladies and gents, I am back. I used that money exploit from this house to buy some supplies. You know it, ladies and gentlemen, you know it. Got the heels, got the lances, got the everything. However, it took an exceedingly long amount of time to do so, I hope I don't have to reset. And to ensure that I don't have to reset, I am just going to promote Wolf. Like that. To just get him more defense to make this next upcoming party easier since I, there is a dragon and a sniper over there. So we're just gonna go cha-cha real smooth. Cha-cha real smooth. Then we'll lure them back to the rest of our army. Cha-cha real smooth. Okay, so that's one ballista down. Luck, weapon level HP, very good. Alright, and there are no reinforcements, I asked. Uh, I guess other people started playing the game at the same time as me, so now other people are playing it. Alright. So let's see, move... Let's see, you have... Oh god, where does it say it? Move 7... And then you have move 7, okay. So if I run away, will they be able to catch me? Let's see. Use a Voluntary. Hmm. No, because of the fort. Okay. So I can just lure them out at my own pace then. So why don't I just do that? And then we can use Anna to get Jake, and then we're done. Come on, buddy. I don't... You see, I'm doing this because I don't really want to uh, reset again. Which is why I'm being exceedingly careful. Alright, now prepare to die. Hmm. See, if Wolf only did that much, it might not be that smart to have other units attack. Let's see. Defense, 12. Attack, yikes. And this and that guy does not have 40 HP yet. Let's see with the silver. Ooh. Let's see attack 20. Ah, I could probably finish him off this turn, honestly. Because he has zero attack speed. Let's see. Crit. Let's see. Crit zero. Yeah, we can finish him off this turn. I was worrying for nothing. Let's go. Luckily, dragons only do 20 damage flat in this game, and they don't have any crit chance, so you really don't need to worry about them that much. And there we go. Strength, skill, speed, defense, HP. Power obtained, alright. So now we have a power, and I honestly don't know who to give that to. Hmm. That's gonna be a tricky one. Maybe Mathis? That'd be funny, but I feel like since this hack is gonna be hard... Maybe it'd be best to give it to Athena, since she has the highest speed. So yeah, I think I will give it to Athena. Since doubling is pretty cool in this hack. Anyway, yeah, that should just be the chapter. We really only need to move Wolf and Anna now to go get Jake. Ooh, and there's a sniper over there, that's right. Maybe I'll... Oh, hold on, I just had a funny idea. There is Violent. I think it's time to recreate a scene from my Shadow Dragon Iron Man. Except this time, Harden doesn't die this chapter. Ooh. Yeah, now that I actually have supplies, I'm a lot less worried about this game, because earlier I was like, oh god, what if I run out? Oh god, oh god, oh god. But it ended up being fine. 
And Maria's getting EXP now that she has more heal staves to mess around with. So now why don't we just invite Mr. Sniper to come out and play. One damage, amazing. Come on, you can do better than that guy. You can do better than that. <laughs> FE3's soundtrack can be pretty good at times, I won't lie. It does get a bit annoying after a while. They're like, oh, they're Fire Emblem soundtracks. I can... It's hard for me to get tired of, but I don't know. Something about Fire Emblem 3, it's like, oh my god, after a while, it's just, please stop. Alright. And trap time. Wait. And wait. And wait. And now it's time for Violent to fight this guy until he gets his precious speed. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on. <laughs> uh, fun game, Violent Emblem. It is very fun. Uh, if I had a choice between having a girlfriend and playing Violent Emblem, you guys know I would just... I would just play Violent Emblem all day, every day. It's the best game ever made, and the only game ever made. I love Violent Emblem so much. <laughs> we get Tomas next chapter. All that and not even a level up. Oh, Fire Emblem 3 EXP. Anyway, now I just need to go take out the nasty Ballista Man over here. And there are no reinforcements this chapter, I have confirmed, with a friend who is playing it alongside me. Alright. Now, recruiting Jake is interesting, because Ballista were not... You see, they cut Daros, but you could still play as, like, the Axemen in general. In, um, in Book 1, not in Book 2. But Ballista was just a class that was completely just not there. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out in Fire Emblem 3. I imagine it'll be nerfed and won't be too good since this is a uh, Violent Emblem we're dealing with. This is Violent Emblem we're dealing with. Come on, don't attack your girl. Whatever, at least he sucks. Actually, that might not be good that he sucks because he's going to be in my army. Alright. And let's get Jakey. Talk. The Anna. Yes, it is I. I am a mage in this game. Uh, uh, no, money, 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 money. Jake, Jake, Jake. Money, money, money. Oh. That's, uh... It's much less interesting, I have to say. <laughs> much less interesting than I thought that would be. I honestly should have just killed him. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he would be a ballista, but no. 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 Whatever, sees. We did it. We've retaken Arcanea Castle. Except not really, because there's still next chapter. Ooh, but next chapter is when it gets real, ladies and gentlemen. Because, let's see. Ooh. We can only bring a few next chapter. I can tell if who we're not bringing Jake. see. Let's just get a good look at our new recruits before we finish off today's episode. Ooh, there they are. I forgot in Fire Emblem 3 there's actually room to save them all instead of having to sacrifice some of them. That's nice. Let's see. So one of these bozos should have a warp staff, but they don't. Oh well. Lots of thieves. Lots of thieves. Daros is going to be happy this chapter, I imagine. Oh boy, that's a thing. And let's see, are their stats altered at all? Midia is not looking good. There's uh, Tomp, Michelin. Alright, so these guys honestly look about the same. But you know, we gotta use Tomas. So that is interesting how these guys kind of suck. <laughs> Midia's stats will probably look better mounted, but now it's not looking too good. But oh well. This has been Baraku Emblem. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and bye bye.